Hey developers, welcome back to another interesting video in Live Wire Theory Series. I am Umesh Rana and you are watching Programming Fields. In the previous video of Live Wire Theory Series, we saw how we can pass data to the view in which we understood how to define variables in the component class and how we can render those variables in the component view. Also, we got to know the working mechanism of Live Wire behind the hood in Laravel. Today, we will dig deeper the Live Wire components and actions. As I already discussed in the very first video, LiveWire supports two types of components. The first one is class component in which we saw there will be two files. One will be class file and another will be view file. In the class component, we have the separate functional part as a class in which we can write our functional logic only. And secondly, we have the separate view file that is HTML. So inside that, we can write the HTML part only. And uh, till now, we know how to create and use the class component in LiveWire. Now, let's talk about the inline component in LiveWire. So, LiveWire provides flexibility to create inline component as well. So, in the inline component, there will be a single class file only. And in the same class file, we can write the HTML part and the functional part as well. This kind of inline component will be suitable for a small HTML element, just like if you want to create any button or text element and you want to reuse that multiple times without repeating your HTML block code. Therefore, let's get into the practical part by creating the inline component in LiveWire. So, let's get started. So, as of now, we had created this class component and we had implemented this counter functionality and we had passed this data from this component class to component view and also we had implemented this counter functionality all right now i will show you how we can create inline component in livewire so let's check out the documentation and under this components let's scroll down and here it provided a command php artisan make livewire and the component name and uh, after that we will have to pass this flag as inline so this will specify this has to create an inline component all right so let's come to the terminal and let's create our very first inline component in livewire so we'll type php artisan make livewire and we will have to pass the component name so let's suppose our component name will be greeting all right and after that we will have to pass the flag as inline let's hit enter yes so it created the class as greeting here in the inline component it created a single file only class file let's come to the vs code editor and here inside this http live wire folder we can see we have the greeting class all right and if we'll scroll down and if we'll check out inside this views folder then inside live wire it has not created any view file all right so if we we'll try to understand this inline component class here we have the render function so in every component we will have the render function and inside this render function generally for a class it will return the view but if it is a inline component then here it is directly returning html block so here inside this annotation we can see this is specified we have to write the html here and inside this html part we can write any html thing so let's try to modify this hey this is inline component in live wire 3 all right now we will have to render this inline component so in order to render this inline component we will have the same approach either we can render this component in a blade file or else we can directly render that in a route so let's create a route route colon colon get and inside this i will pass endpoint name as greeting and here i will call the greeting component all right then we'll have to pass colon colon class okay now let's copy this endpoint name come back to the browser let's try to access localhost 8000 slash greeting let's hit enter yes it rendered the inline component similar to the class component we can define property here just like public dollar message and here we can specify the message just like welcome to livewire3 all right 
and here we can render this variable in the same way just like this let's refresh it yes this has been rendered here we can add line break just like this all right similar to this public property we can define private or protected as well so let's define private property as name programming fields all right now if we'll try to render this private variable directly here just like this then this will throw error as we already saw in the class component so here this private variable is not directly accessible in this component view so for this we will have to use dollar this okay this is done let's refresh now yes we are able to access this private variable as well similarly we can create protected all right yes this is done yes so here we are able to access public private and protected variable as we saw so here in the live wire component there will be one parent element here and uh, other elements will be added inside this same parent as a child here all right so in case if we want to create any button or anything just like this then you will have to write it inside the same div or same parent element so let's check it yes now we will see how we can render this component in another component so previously we had a class component as hello world just like this and we had its view as html here hello world all right so inside this we can render that greeting component so for this we will be using this live wire directive and inside this we will call our component as greeting let's save it and uh, let's try to access the hello world component let's refresh yes inside this class component we have rendered this inline component as well so by using this way we can nest our component and we can render another component here we can render it multiple times so this is the concept of live wire component reusability so in case if we want to create a button and if we want to reuse that then we can render this component here and inside this greeting component we can pass dynamic data as a property and we can capture that here inside this greeting class but before passing the props in the component we will have to understand the live wire life cycle and that we will cover in the next video all right so as of now we saw how we can create inline component and how we can render that also we saw how we can render the component inside another component all right while creating a component in live wire we can specify the directory name as well so that your component will be created in a specific directory so let's suppose if you want to create a post component related to blog so for that you can specify the directory name before the component name so let's suppose if i want to create another component as greeting but i want to keep this inside one directory as messages so inside this messages directory this will create inline component as greeting let's hit enter yes here we can see this created one folder as messages and it created greeting component let's come to the vs code and here inside this live wire we have another directory as messages and inside this we have the greeting component now in order to render this greeting component we will have to pass the directory name as well while rendering this component so let me change this message here component from another directory all right and uh, i want to render this greeting component inside this greeting all right so after this button i will call live wire directory again and inside this i will have to pass the folder name as messages dot component name as greeting okay let's save and come back to the browser let's refresh it yes we can see that greeting component has been rendered here all right so while calling the component you will have to pass the directory name similar to this we can render this here in the 
hello world component as well okay let's come to this and let's refresh yes this has rendered the component from another directory now we will talk about live wire directives so live wire provides few directives to handle different actions so inside the documentation if you scroll down then here we can see we have the directive as wire click submit model loading and these all so these have the different purposes to use the directives and these will perform different actions so let's suppose if we'll check this wire call and click directive so this click directive will be used to perform any click event and behind this this will perform the javascript click event all right so this click will be basically for any button or any anchor link or any span tag for which you want to perform click so in this click event we can render a different component so that your page won't refresh and it will just navigate to the different component similarly we have the submit directive so this submit directive will be used to handle the form submission event let's suppose when you have a form and you want to perform the form submit handling then in that form you will have to apply this wire submit directive all right so it will help to submit your form data we will dig this deeper in the upcoming videos when we will handle the form and we will create crud operations for this similarly we have the wire model so this wire model directive will be used to capture the input values so let's suppose you have the input field as title or content and you want to capture the entered text inside that input field then you will have to bind the event as wire model similarly we have the loading so this wire loading will be basically loader kind of thing so this will indicate your message or your data is being saved so while your response will be waiting from this server side to complete any process this will display a loading message or loading text all right also we have this wire navigate so when you want to navigate to a different component you can apply this directive so basically this will navigate to the different route or different url all right and this will provide the single page application interface that means when you will redirect to a different route or different component your page won't refresh this will directly work as a single page application as instant click when you will click this will open directly similarly we have the other directives as well as wire dirty wire confirm transition init all right so we will see these all directives in the upcoming videos so that's all we are at the end of this video and we understood the deep guide of live wire component specifically we discussed the inline components also we dug deeper in live wire actions and we discussed the live wire directives to handle different actions in the upcoming videos in live wire series we will dive deep in live wire events data handling event handling form validations file handling pagination and many other interesting features and also we will create some projects as well by combining these all features so stay connected with programming fields if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like and share this video and also if you have not subscribed to the programming fields then please subscribe it for more tutorials and tips like this see you soon in the next video until then happy coding